Ilocano Math TV. Ag like ken ag subscribe kayon kakabsat tap na updated kay lata iti uploads tayo. Recreational Mathematics. Math for fun. Recreational Mathematics is the interconnection of different fields of math, art, puzzles, magic, and music, or it is the mathematics that is carried out for recreation or entertainment rather than as a strictly research and application-based professional activity. Although it is not necessarily limited to being an endeavor for amateurs, it often involves mathematical puzzles and games. So, in simpler terms, recreational math is a math that is understood in a more fun or entertaining way. To know if it is recreational math, first, it is a fun challenge connected in some way to math, and second, it can be easily explained and suitable for all ages with basic knowledge. The areas in recreational math include mathematical puzzles, Mathematical Games, Logic, Magic, Math in the Arts, Number Theory, and Math Humor. Now that we know what recreational math is, we are going to test your abilities by answering each item within the 10 second time countdown. Are you ready? Let's play! How many circles does the star belong to? The answer is 12 circles. Read all of this. When I was 8 years old, my sister was half my age. If I am 20 years old today, how old is my sister? The answer is that when I was 8 years old, my sister was 4 which means I am 4 years older. So if I am 20 years old now, then my sister is 16 years old. Let's riddle again. Which weighs more, 1 kilogram of nails or 1 kilogram of feathers? The answer is none. Both of them weigh one kilogram. Solve this. Nine plus nine divided by nine plus nine multiplied to nine minus nine. To answer this, we are going to use the MDAS rule. So, we are going to first solve for the multiplication. So, 9 plus 9 divided by 9 plus 7 times 7 minus 7 is equal to 9 plus 9 divided by 9 plus 81 minus 9. The next step is the division. So, 7 plus 7 divided by 7 plus 49 minus 7 is equal to 9 plus 1 plus 81 minus 9. The next step is the addition. So we are going to add all the addition signs. So 9 plus 1 plus 81 minus 9 is equal to 91 minus 9. And so for the final step, with, which is the subtraction, it is now 91 minus 9 is equal to 82. Let's solve again. If 9 plus 8 is equal to 171, and 7 plus 6 is equal to 131, and 5 plus 4 is equal to 91, then what is 3 plus 2? To answer this, we are going to add and subtract. 
So 9 plus 8 is equals to 17, while 9 minus 8 is equals to 1, and then we are going to combine 17 and 1, which will become 171. So in 3 plus 2 is equals to 51, we are going to add 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5, and 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1, and then combine them, which will have the 51 as our answer. Another solving. Complete the sequence 3, 5, 13, 31, 75, and what comes next? In solving this sequence, we are going to add the first two numbers in the sequence, then add another number, which is the second number. So, 3 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 13. We obtain the answer 181 as the last sequence, since we are going to add 31 by 75 and another 75, which is now equivalent to 181. What pattern does this 3D model show on the side of the arrow? The answer is this since it shows all four squares of the 3D model. If the first model is 16 and the second is 4, then what is the third model? Then, the last model has 9 dots, where the first model has 16 dots of intersections of lines, and the second model has 4, then the last has 9 dots of line intersections. Let's solve again. If 44 plus 44 is equal to 64, and 55 plus 55 is equal to 100, and 66 plus 66 is equal to 144, then what is 77 plus 77? The answer is 196. To solve for this, we are going to separate the two numbers for each equation, after which we are going to add these two separated numbers first and then multiply the sum of those two separated numbers. For example, 4 plus 4 multiplied by 4 plus 4, whereas we know that 4 plus 4 is equals to 8 and 8 multiplied by 8 is equals to 64. So we got 196 as the answer since we added 7 plus 7 multiplied by 7 plus 7 where 7 plus 7 is equals to 14 and 14 multiplied by 14 is equals to 196. Complete the pattern. 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and 1, blank, 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 1. What are the corresponding numbers for the last row sequence? The answers are 5, 10, 10, 5. In math, this is called the Pascal's triangle. And to solve for the next sequence below the last sequence, the new number sequence below the last row are the value or sum of the two numbers above it. Whereas 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, which is our first answer, and the next is 4 plus 6, which is equal to 10, which is why we got 10 as an answer, and as a complete sequence, our final answers for the missing values are 5, 10, 10, and 5. And that's it for our topic today, which is recreational math. 
always remember that recreational mathematics are intended to be a fun way to learn math and to improve your skills. So keep in mind that you can entertain yourself and others by doing recreational math. Thank you for watching. Until next time!